Creating a pivot door. I'm going to go up to the command panel, go to create, go to geometry, and in, I'm going to go down in my list doors. In the doors, I have three different types of doors I can make in 3DS. I'm going to start with the pivot door. When I pick on the pivot door, I want to come over in my top view. In my top view, I'm going to pick with my left mouse button. I'm going to drag it across. When I drag it across, I am now creating the width of the door. So I'm creating that width, and I let go. And now I'm creating the depth of the door. So how thick is the door? And so I'll pick. And then my last one is I'm pulling it up. And you can see down in my left viewport, I'm creating a tall door here. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to pick. And then I'm going to come down here and click in this one here, and I'm going to pan around. You can see there is my door and my perspective view, right? And I can pick on the door, and in the door, then I can go to modify, and that's going to bring up my parameters. You can see, eh, I didn't do the greatest of picking the heist. This is not really a standard size door, folks. So I could really go in there and change that and fix that. So I'm going to go to a six foot uh, eight, which is pretty standard. And the width here, I'm just going to go with a three foot wide door. All right. And then the depth is, you know, oh, about one and three quarters or two inches. So I am just going to put two inches in there. So I'm going to make that size a little better there. So, uh, once again, if uh, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to my command panel, create geometry, I want to go to the doors pull down, the pivot. The first one, when I pick it, I, I hold the left mouse button down and I'm creating then the width of my door. How wide is it? Then I let go. Now I'm creating the depth of the door and now I'm creating the height of the door okay and you can see over here on uh, my parameters these were the sizes that I picked dynamically and I can always come in here and clean them up and fix them to standard door widths and heights etc and depths uh, we do have a creation method uh, by default we're going with width depth and height but it could, I could have it ask me if I pick this, the width, the height, and the depth. So I come over here, and I'm going to pick, in this case, the width. I'm going to pick. I'm going to hold it across until I get my width in. And then I'm going to let go. And then I'm going to go up to, to the width, and then I go up one more for the height. It's just a different method of creation. So these are pivot doors in 3ds Max.